We have a first photo from the upcoming Born 5. That's the title of it. Uh, the next Born film in the Born franchise. Um, the first photo showed Matt Damon looking pretty fit. And it looks like he was uh, wrapping his uh, hands like he's about to fight. Or maybe he just got out of a fight who knows but producer Frank Marshall tweeted the photo and from what we know so far the film starts in Greece and ends in Las Vegas according to Damon uh, the film will be set in a post Snowden world exploring politics and espionage and other than that all we know is some casting news we have Vincent Castle who I know from trance uh, as the vis as the the villain, sorry, and Alicia Vikander is going to be starring. Julia Stiles returns, and Tommy Lee Jones will also be in the film. Paul Greengrass is directing, and so Jacob, you saw this first photo. What do you think about it? I mean, it doesn't reveal much, but I mean, what do you what do you think? Uh, it, it looks awesome. It looks like he's been in hiding. He looks very scruffed up. Uh, he looks like a badass. Uh, is all I gotta say. Um, I mean, it doesn't tell us anything. I mean, actually, it kind of does tell us something about the story. We know he's not shacked up in on vacation in Florida with a woman living the life. He's right. he's down and dirty and hiding somewhere, and he's in the midst of trying to hide himself or in a war, or something like that. So it's exciting because. Uh, we're going to see what Jason Bourne has been up to and where he was during the events of Bourne 4, uh, the Jeremy Renner one. Right. So I I, uh, I want to see where they're going to take Jeremy Renner's character, though, because I, I didn't mind. What was the title of that movie? Born Legacy. Born Legacy. I liked him with Born Legacy. I really did. And I mm -hmm. think J Jeremy Renner, when we already know this, he's a formidable action star. He's been in several... He'd be in Mission Impossible movies, uh, the Avengers films. Yeah. He's a great action star. Um, but I hope uh, the idea of them coming together in uh, in another, maybe like Born 7. Because I would like to see this Born movie, just Matt Damon. Right. Then maybe Born 6 with Jeremy Renner again. And maybe at the end of that, they run into each other. And then the next one is with them together. I think that would be awesome. I mean, uh, yeah, everyone's asking for... Hypothetically, uh, yeah. ...a crossover between Jeremy Renner and Matt Damon. Um, and fans are certainly happy to see... We're all happy to see Matt Damon return as Jason Bourne with Paul Greengrass uh, directing, who did uh, Bourne Supremacy and Ultimatum, the second and third film. So I want to ask you real quickly, how much of an impact does let's say because matt damon is come uh going to be starring in the martian later on this year what happens if that film sucks does it affect born five in any way not at all okay i don't think because so. matt damon he is a list actor he's a list talent he's one of the best in the business everyone knows this he's a he has dramatic chops. He he has comedic chops. Mm -hmm. He is an action star. He's phenomenal. One film, even though he's the lead, and that movie's going to rely a lot on his uh, performance, I don't think that's going to affect it at all. Not right. one bit. Okay. Um, well, I mean, for me, it's like, okay, uh, he's had Elysium. Which I like, you know. A lot of people were kind of if and that. I did not like his uh, cameo in Interstellar. Spoiler, guys! It's been out for like a year now. Um, and with The Martian, if that film sucks, I think what we have here is a case of a very good action star going back to what he, you know, is good at. You know, sort of like Vin Diesel going back to Fast and Furious. This is all. You know, like, if the the Martian sucks, which I'm not... It looks good by the trailers. Um, I think it's revealing a little too much. Um, 
but the the trailers look good. Um, it could be a return to form for Ridley Scott, who has been more missed than hit lately. So I just wanted to you know throw that out there, like you know, what if this film sucks? You don't think it'll have an impact on the film? I don't think it'll have an impact on the film, but it'll just it'll be one of those cases where an actor goes back to doing what he's good at, which is Jason Bourne. Um, so yeah, that's just my thoughts on it. Uh, you guys let us know what you think of the photo, uh, Matt Damon, how excited are you for this film? And, uh, what do you think about, uh, Jason Bourne being in the post Snowden world? Is that interesting? Is that the right direction for them to go? Let us know in the comments.